Hi there and welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars where we make the galaxy safe again. We are from the Empire of Nautilon's arrival of our little snails and uh, at the moment we have developed a new technology for our science ships. Science ships of the Proemium class need to be upgraded with faster plasma thrusters can fly a lot quicker and most importantly we have developed the curator archaeology lab with a lot less anomaly fail risk anomaly discovery chance is higher and anomaly research speed goes up so if you're meeting with a curator enclave this is one of the rare techs you can get from contact the hyperdrive will be upgraded to the hyperdrive 2 and now we'll have power problems here. That's an autocomplete ship for now. Um, I think that it's like always best to go for uh, the deflectors. If you can, these small ships as the shields, like the 30 hit points of the shields, do so much more than the percentage of armor with only 300 hull points. So we're going with that. A very nice science ship also it can take some hits so let's save this up and um, actually we have that science ship here should maybe um, try to edit it somehow show the ship's details yeah it's the pathfinder class it's the old class still so we're going to build a new class uh, on breath. a new and better ship the proemium class here or maybe we can even destroy the old design that would be much better Let's see. The Pathfinder is gone. It's deleted. Now we can upgrade to the Proemium class, which we'll do instantly. And uh, next is next up is we have heard a lot about the Mithrine Serene Kingdom. So, um, there's an SSS report on them. I'll leave it to explain by the SSS. Your Holiness, we have news about the Mithrin Serene Empire, formerly called the Mortal Knights. We have re research about uh, their history. This is the SSS report on the, on the Mithrin. The Mithrins were the species that have dominated Ihambur for millennia. Nations rose along the five continents of the planet and there was peace. However, a tyrannical ruler clad in dark armor rose to power with his own empire. He referred himself to himself as the Supreme King. He had accumulated a great army and proceeded to invade the nations of the continent. As the nations fell, he had slowly conquered other nations from the rest of the five continents of Ihamber. It wasn't until a soldier from a fallen nation, with his band of rebels, had liberated one of the ceded cities and formed a resistance against the Supreme King. Years have passed. The soldier then became the resistance leader and after many decades managed to liberate an entire continent. As time passed, the leader had a child and learning from the battles before them, they were sent to another continent for liberation. Soon decades passed. Then, a centu then centuries had passed. After four generations, the descendant of the soldier who liberated the first continent then arrived at the heavily fortified stronghold of the Supreme King in the last continent that was still conquered. The young man, filled with the wishes, hopes and dreams of the generations before him, came with a goal that he has willingly accepted, liberate and establish peace for the entire world so that there will be no need for conflict ever again. As he led the combined forces of the four continents to invade the stronghold of the Supreme King, he led a team of the best soldiers and confronted the Supreme King himself. In the end he had dethroned the Supreme King and news of his death has have spread. With the command fractured, the army of the Supreme King eroded rapidly. The young man was then offered by all of the liberated nations to be their leader as a unified society. With all of the great deeds that he and his family have given, and all that they sacrifice, they trust him as the protector that acts in the best interest of the citizenry. There's only one question left to ask. Will his own descendants follow upon his ideals of a truly peaceful future, just as his forefathers before him? 
And it seems like with a serene kingdom, they may have just done that, but... Your holiness, they are also dangerous. They have proven themselves to be warriors, so we should be careful in handling them. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. And now, let's continue our policy of expanding the empire uh, without trouble. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. And, of course, with uh, frontier outposts. <laughs> Yeah, we have actually disbanded a lot of the French outposts. We still have that one in Nupren because we are very fond of um, the Curator Alpha Enclave. We are getting their um, research bonus and we'll soon be able to recruit one of their researchers. Prospero has been upgraded. Let's send it here to assist research again. Spaceport of Nautilus Breath has also finished the construction and um, yeah, everyone's building here. Let's have a look at our sectors. Should be the same there. The Haddock Prime sector needs some minerals, so let's give them some minerals. They need to develop very well as we need power. Need a lot of power. Power is extremely good if you have hostile fleet detected. One of hostile the, oh. fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Let's see. Oh man, we're at 86%. And where are they flying to? The Umpani are coming. You can just fly over here. Where are the the Holy Roach and Armada is there? Let's see. Maybe they'll stop. Let's see. Hostile fleet detected. They're in Whiter Prime now. At least we have a spaceport there. Where's our fleet? We're at 88%. Now we will upgrade. We just have to wait. If it needs to come to that, it should. 94. Carla Morales has died. Oh no, is this a sign? Carla Morales. <sighs> we need new governors as well. Let's have a look. The Thessalon Prime sector is now yeah, reduced to nothingness. We need a new governor. Maybe an army veteran. Or Eric Schaefer. Eric Schaefer is such a good guy. I mean, an army veteran is also pretty good, but... Eric Schaefer is a whole other matter. Let's recruit Eric Schaefer. And move him to Tisselum Prime. Protectors of the inner shell. Complete. Upgrade. Come on. I think they are warping. Ships upgraded. Now at six, a strength of six thousand. What can stop us? Protectors of the inner shell are coming. Callum Finlays and Palmer, the quickest snail in the universe. Fly over there. Defeat the Umpani. And where are they? Where are they even? Let's fly in here. Is there... There is their fleet. The Jodham. The Godham Jodham class. Let's fly over here. There's also a fleet of the Umpani. We'll make the... Our fleets here aggressive. Should eliminate everything they meet. Station under attack. And of course, the military station here is under attack. Ah, we we need to get to this to this main fleet probably. We need to get there quickly. We'll just be passive here. Come on. 
jump. You're quicker now. You're so much quicker. Do it. Construction complete. Where are the holy roachens flying to? Construction complete. They are here. Station under attack. Where are they flying to? Station under attack. <laughs> yeah, here. I'm getting attacked. Protected from the shell. Updated. Oh, the, the armada, fifth armada, needs to needs to go there as well. We we need to assign a leader. Maybe we'll need another admiral. Let's let's see who who can we recruit. This cautious guy, or maybe the trickster. The trickster is also pretty quick. Let's recruit Admiral Jackson Lawson. <laughs> Fly over here, attack them. Yeah, there's only these. Wow! Look at that, what's going on there? There's a very big fleet. We first have to. We Station first have to eliminate the Umpani. There's just only this way. Attack the Umpani. There's White or Prime getting attacked. Construction complete. But we're in order. We are in full defense. Uh, let's let's actually build more destroyers. Protectors of the inner shell attack. Where are you? Come on, you are here. Use your speed. They are bombarding Whiter Prime. And we are binding them. Come on, can't you attack? Fly over there. Callum Finlay's and Palmer. Hostile fleet engaged. Come on, quicker! Hostile fleet detected. What's going on here? What are the Holy Roachens doing? Oh, their Holy Roachens are doing a great job, I think. Here they are. Huh. Now. Hostile fleet detected. They are getting attacked by us. Need to eliminate their fleets quickly. Fly in, Callum! Hostile Save your... fleet engaged. Yes, now. In position to attack. Lord, save the general. Save the young general. There's Falatir here. Oh, he has eliminated us all. Situation updated. Jackson Construction Lawson has died. Complete. Now eliminate them. They are ready to pick. Situation log updated. Get them down, get their cruisers down, eliminate these guys. Ah. Need more destroyers. Research complete. We're getting them down. It's a tough fight. But we will fight it. Construction complete. Yeah, the destroyers are going down. Our forces are holding. Protectors of the inner shell. You need to become heroes right now. Construction complete. Physics research. Ah. 
AI-controlled colony ships? No. We need quantum energy states. Yeah, I think that's the best in this. Let's just go for it. Eliminate the Umpani. Need to kill them. We need to kill them all. Now in a near position where our Corvettes should be doing something. Finally, we, we can see land or... I don't know what we can see. It's a three to one advantage. These shields here, oh man. Finally, we've come to the Corvettes. Come on, kill these Corvettes. They cannot flee from us. Construction complete. Research complete. Complete the research of dense jungle removal. Flash defore deforestation is in and of itself nothing revolutionary. Accomplishing it. Tightly controlled area on a strict schedule, however, is. Uh, what what should we do to make the galaxy safer? Military theory? Yeah, we're just all about military right now. Doctrine fleet support. Kill these Corvettes. Kill them. Make them ready to die. Situation log updated. Callum Finlay's and Palmer has leveled up two times but our fleet is in shambles need to repair quickly repair the fleet at once where are the holy roachens construction complete the holy roachens are here oh look at that the holy roachens are defeating them they are defeating Consciousness of Thar Big. Let's have a look at the final flight, the final fight. Ha! They're unyielding. They will lose. The Holy Shell Pact is once again victorious against the forces of evil that reign the universe. Still, but not for long anymore. Not for long going on here? They're building a wormhole here. Build more destroyers. Protectors of the inner shell are going to their repair station. They have been so bold as to attack the Holy Shell Pact. And what have they gained? Nothing. The Holy Shell Pact is superior to them. Oh, we're not that superior anymore, right? <laughs> but our empire is pretty good. And let's look at the Umpani. But their fleet power is superior to us. That cannot be. Not anymore. I mean, we're above them in power. How can that be? Consciousness of Star Big, their fleet power is inferior. They will lose. In other words, they will lose. Thank you for watching this action-packed episode of Snail Wars. We'll make the galaxy safe again once we have defeated the consciousness of Star Big and the Umpani. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. And happy gaming to you.